Welcome to my channel, Planet with Maserati. I'm going to be doing the daily scripture writing for October 10th, which is Philippians 4, 6 through 7. So before I begin, welcome. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. That'd be great. You appreciate it. So with that being said, let's begin. So for the month of October, we're focused on overcoming. We read, write, pray, and reflect. I know I didn't put it here. Let me put it now. I was going to say, I know I didn't put it here. So we read, write, pray, and reflect. And then our soap study. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'll just put soap study. And then I'm just going to put it scripture. observation the next month i will be doing it the regular way application i know i forgot something oh it is right there and prayer okay so we have that now on here read write print reflect soap study scripture observation application and prayer which is the soap as we turn the page it just reminds me of a politician that keeps saying that. <laughs> um, we are on day 10, so we're here. I am nowhere near close. I will catch up. Overcoming Worries, a seven-day reading plan, and it's from 10 to 16. And it's on Philippians. Okay. So let's go ahead and read. I'm using the felt tip pen. It's like a paper mate flare without being the paper made flare. So it's just like it though. Um Philippians four. I'm like what just touched me? Ooh, that was kinda scary. Right here. Six and seven. So it's up there as well. So I did underline it for um the blue tab. And it says six and then seven. Be anxious for nothing but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through uh, Christ Jesus. So this one is Colossians 3.15. Again, I'll write it out later. Um, before we begin, uh, let's see if there's any more. I don't think there is. No, that was the only one. Uh, what was I going to say? I did tell you the three names. Okay. How to Faith a Life. Uh, the Word Nerd. And Coffee and Bible Time. Now, there's a new one. I only have one down so far because I have not really been watching videos lately. Well, the last day or so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Alyssa something. I don't want to... Okay, here we go. Alexis. Alyssa, Alexis. Alexis Ashley. She's another one that does um, vlogging, and she's a really good uh, for the Bible as well. She goes through each book of the Bible. She talks about it. She does um, a lot of different things. But the first three I gave you, the um, How to Faith a Life, Coffee and Bible Time, and The Word Nerd, those are the main three that I watch. And then Alexis is the next one. And then there is one more. And I will tell you that one tomorrow. It's just been a hectic day. And that's why I'm on late tonight, which is 7.34. Okay, and then while we're... I'm going to start writing while I talk. Um, And then I ended up getting an item from TikTok that I showed you. It's already on the channel. It's already been uploaded. And it is Bible verses. Like your mood. So a daily Bible verse. And you pick it out. How you're feeling. So that one is already on the channel. And I did link it. Just in case you guys want it. But I'm going to be honest with you. That is something easy to make. Cut a paper, different color paper, write out your verses and put it in a jar and read them every day. And then you can put like love, anxiety, um, happy, 
sad, anxious, angry, things like that. Anything that you want and find the scripture for. I might do a video like that. I might do that. But I think it's an awesome idea. And another idea I came up with, well, I'm sure I'm not the only one that came up with it, is I said it in the video, do a prayer and put it in there. In the box. It comes with a box and it has a heart on it. It's very pretty. Um, and I said in the box, put your prayers. And, you know, keep checking to see if they, they got answered, right? So it's in God's timing. When God um, answers the prayer, right? So there's that. So there's two things there. I know I'm forgetting something. The A. Okay. I'm trying to think of anything else. Oh, I have a uh, planner. I bought it a while ago. Well, a couple months ago, I think it is. And it's a happy planner. And it's a faith planner. And I haven't used it. So what I came up with, and it, again, this is not my idea. Somebody else did it, and I want to just implement it in my life. It, it's not something I'm like, hey, look what I did. No, nothing like that. It's me coming on here to show you my work. Not what how I created it, because it's not my idea. Um, one of the ladies, and if I can, well, I do, I did watch it today, so it could be on here. Um, I'll have to link it later, because I'm on the video right now, and I was watching her video, and she does seven days a week of scripture, <coughs> and then she goes into, like, a journal with that, that verse. Or whatever their plan is, they journal it as well. So it's not just soap study. It's not just scriptures. It's both scripture and journaling. And there's prompts that you get, which I'm going to find one on probably Pinterest. Because, you know, Pinterest has everything. And start doing that. And I'll show you the Bible in a second. I mean, not the Bible. I'm sorry. Did I tell you what Bible I was reading from? The NKJV, the one that I love, like this one here. Uh, and um, I love all my Bibles, don't get me wrong. And um, I was going to say, I'll show you the planner as soon as I'm done reading. And I'll set up tomorrow's, and then I can show it to you. So on today's, it's Colossians 3.15. Oh, I need, oh, I need better glasses. My insurance is not going to pay for it because I already got a pair of glasses last year in December and they messed them up. So my insurance, I already know, is not going to pay for it. And I don't want to come out of pocket for it. Uh, 3.15. Okay, so this is a follow-up. Okay, and then I'm going to put observation under... And then let's go ahead and set up for tomorrow, and then we'll be all set with me showing you the planner. Okay, let's get this out. I'm going to screenshot this really quick. You know I do that for the thumbnail. Sometimes I put the thumbnail, and sometimes I don't. I don't know why. But I do like how it writes, and this pen does not bleed through this thin paper. And, you know, paper like this is thin. So October... I cannot believe it's going to be seven days. Well, tomorrow will be uh, six days, but today is going to be seven. I was already really... Okay. I was putting seven, because I said seven. Um, seven days to my birthday and nine days to my mom. Her passing. Three years. Everyone says it's it gets easier. I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all, because it still hasn't gotten easier for me for my father. I was super close to my dad, and he is, I think, 27 years already gone? I was young when he died. I was in I was my 20s, I think. Yes, yeah, so I was super young. So, I'm so sorry. So, tomorrow is um, 
the 11th, Romans 8.28. Did I write that? Yeah, so Romans 8.28. Now let's go ahead and get into this planner. I don't know why I'm closing that because I still need that. Let me see if I can find it. I'm going to pause you for one second. Never mind. <laughs> it was sitting right in front. Okay. So let me see if I can fix this because it looks crooked. Okay, here we go. So it says, Walk in Truth. I love the cover. This is why I picked it for the cover. I love the way it looks, the aesthetic of it. And again, I haven't used it. It's a 2024, 2025. It starts on July. So we're going to go to, you can see I did the monthly plan. Um, well, I was supposed to do the monthly plan. And this is for coffee and Bible time. So I have to put in October's, which I did write in a notebook. But I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. But you can see I didn't do anything to it. I don't think any of these ones I have touched. But we're going to get into October. Okay, so this is October's. So you have your overview, which is uh, priorities. Who can you help encourage this month? And again, you don't have to have it like this. You could change it up your way. Um, how can, how you can be a light to others? Reflect on God's promises and write a testimony of God's faithfulness. That's this whole section. Again, you could change the prompts. It doesn't have to be the same way. Hers is a little different because she has the big happy planner. And I have the lady I was talking about. It says, More Jesus, More Joy. October. I love that cover. This is the monthly. This will be the coffee and Bible time. Let me see if I can find it really quick. And then I could show it to you. I have my tablet right next to me. Because I'm about to watch a video. Um, after I get off and post this video. As I'm trying to get onto this Facebook so let me see oh I don't do that I was already I hate when it does this skip okay give me one second so this is not my group but I just wanted to show you these are the three ladies I'm talking about they're from Illinois she moved away she's getting married she already got married she has a uh, son that's their mother and it's called coffee and bible time and then they have coffee girls I believe it's coffee girls and they're a blogger. And then this is everything they sell. I'm not getting paid for this, honestly. I'm just showing it to you so that you can get into it as well. This is the God's purpose for your for my life. So I'm going to click on this one and show you. So it's got a scripture and it's renewal. And she shows you what to circle, what to highlight, what to underline. <coughs> and that's for renewal. And then Romans 12, 1 through 2. So this is something that I want to implement in my life as well. Because I don't do that. And I want to do it. And then this is the October. Wait, I think I'm missing something. Maybe if I shrink it. I'm missing the bottom. Let's see. No, it's still missing. Let me see if I flip it. Well, give me all of it. Flip. Okay, somehow I'm not getting the whole the whole one, but I do have the whole one. Uh, let me see if I can click on something else. I'm going to click out. Click back out. Okay, so let's see if we can click on... Okay, here we go. I'm just going to see if I can scroll over. It's the way they have it set up. But you can see the bottom. In every day, there is a different prompt. Good works, Ephesians 2.10. Renewal. So that's the one she did with the renewal. That was day two. Um, we'll go on this side because you can't see the side right now. There you go. I just got it. I don't know how that happened. No. Okay. There we go. I got it all. So the 31st is ambassadorship, 2 Corinthians 5.20. I'm just going around devotion. Deuteronomy 6, 5, obedience, love, unity, freedom, follow, faithfulness, commitment, surrender. And these words, you can dig deeper. Like renewal. She did the, I don't want to click on it. She did the, um, the verse and she circled and she underlined. You can go even deeper of the renewal. Look up the Greek and the Hebrew word for renewal and then keep going. 
um, perseverance, surrender, commitment, faithfulness, holiness, uh, humility, serve, sacrifice, dependence, connection, and there's so much more. And it, that's the name of it, Coffee and Bible Time. All you got to do is go either on the Facebook group, just, you know, add them to the Facebook group, which is Coffee and Bible Time. And like, here's another one, Romans. They do a lot. Here's a strong prayer. Which I am going to copy. Let me see. I could actually save the link. Save post. Okay. New collection. And then I'm just going to put faith. And that way anytime I collect something. It will go to this folder. Great. Great. Okay. Now it is. And then look at this. They have so much... A bird without wings cannot fly, a fish cannot survive without water, and every soul needs Jesus. If you believe, amen. So I am definitely going to put amen. Because I believe. Okay, And they're real people. They're not, like, here's February's if you want it. Love prayer. They have 29 days on this one. They have... It's Thursday, Heavenly Father. And it's by God's spoken word. Uh, this is about the flooding, I believe. October 3rd. Um, Psalms. So much more. So I'm just going to link. Not link, but I'll uh, work on that later with you. And yeah, so getting back to this one because it's getting very long. So this is going to be their um, their scripture plan. And then you go dig in deeper. And again, this is what it looks like for the week. Prayers and praises. Scriptures on my heart. Daily tracker. So this doesn't have to stay, but you can keep it. This week. And then scripture reading, prayer, worship, meditation, fellowship, and so much more. And then you have simple joys and gratitude. And then this is what I'm thinking with either scripture or a journaling prompt. Because if it's a big scripture, you know my writing. I would be adding paper. Which is not a problem for me. But yeah, so that's what I was thinking. Is with this, starting this month. And then just July through September. Maybe just put it in the back and just redate it. So stay tuned for this. This will be coming up this week. And yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I did have Bible study yesterday, and I didn't show you that really quick. I'm just going to give you a little glance of it. Oh, I just knocked the camera. See, I always do that. Okay, so let's get into the Bible study, which is on guilt. So good guilt will bring you to Jesus. Worldly sour brings death. More forward, press on. God doesn't want us to walk in guilt. There's this page, if you want to screenshot it, and this page. I started doing the no. Let me tell you that one, because that one's good. Did you want to screenshot that really quick? I'll start on this side. I just don't want this video to be too, too long. And then, I don't know if you screenshotted that. So, I'm going to tell you what I've learned on the no so far. I've been still working on it. It occurs in the Bible, the KJV, 717 times, NKJV, which is what we read from, 904, NLT, 824, I read from the NIV, 804, and CSB, 847. And if there's any more that's popular that, you know, I should be writing down, let me know before, you know, well, not before, because I have all this room. But yeah, this is what I've started. So thank you for watching, and I will talk to you. In the next video, take care. Bye-bye.